Good morning. Uh, I just realized that I'm running late and I have not even done my hair yet. Oh my gosh. Um, I thought it was done because it's up, but it's not done. I haven't even brushed it. So, oh my goodness. Okay, my oatmeal is ready, but I'm taking this on the run just like every other day. I had to make rice this morning to take with my lunch because I just feel like just soup is not enough. I need something a little bit more. So, um, my lunch is packed. It's, ooh, that's heavy. It's a can of soup. It's ready to go. <laughs> it's falling over now. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. And that's what happens when you're running late. I gotta get my hair done and I gotta go. Oh my goodness, I'm so late. Actually, I'm not that late, but I will be by the time I get ready. So, all right, I gotta go. All right, here is my outfit of the day and I'm in a little bit of a rush. Of course, what's new? Um, but I also realized recently that my schedule is actually gonna change in a couple of weeks. So um, that'll be exciting for me. I'm ready for a little bit of a change and um, just like having more time in the morning. That'll be really great. Um, I'm very excited about more time in the morning. All right, I gotta stop talking to you because I gotta go. All right, I'll see you later. I am on my way to work and I am regretting my decision this morning to not make coffee. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've got to stop going to bed late. I keep saying that every day and I keep going to bed late every night. I didn't make the coffee because I didn't want the added sugar because I can't drink coffee black. There's just no way. Um, I can drink coffee with no cream, although I don't like it that way but I'll drink it with just sugar but I can't drink it completely black plus because I don't drink anything anyway coffee is dehydrating and I didn't want to have to drink more water when I'm already not drinking anything so that's why I decided not to drink coffee I decided to just be okay <laughs> and I'm just gonna have to be okay good evening <laughs> I just got back from the store, look! Ta -da! Okay, so, grocery shopping on a budget. It's really hard to do when you see a lot of stuff that you really want and you finally are able to get it. <laughs> um, I, I think I did pretty well, considering how much I got. Um, I don't know exactly how much I spent because I got some other um, like nail stuff, which was kind of expensive, um, because my nails have actually finally started growing out for the first time ever, and, um, so I got some stuff to kind of, like, help my nails even more, and that was kind of expensive. So I think I spent on groceries around $70, um, and there were several impulse buys, um, but I tried to stay as healthy as I could, and I tried to stay as cheap as I could. But if you're impulse buying, you're definitely not being cheap. <laughs> I do, I did want to tell you kind of about my budget. Originally, I was trying to set, and this was like months, I've been trying to set my budget at like $20 a week on groceries. Well, I finally realized the last week that $20 a week is less than, just barely, less than a dollar a meal. That's really, really, really hard to do unless you're eating nothing but ramen noodles, which is why I had a, two big old packages, like two big boxes of ramen noodles up there because I was eating those. But... Those are not very healthy and they have a lot of calories in them and there's not very much nutritional um, goodness in them. <laughs> I can't talk right now, apparently. Um, so anyway, I kind of decided, well, realistically, I guess my budget should be more around $30 to $40 a week. The last time I went to the store, I spent around $40, which was right on target. Um, and that actually lasted me like a week and a half because I'm just now going to the grocery store and I, I don't remember what day I went last week. I think it was like Monday I went to the grocery. So maybe not a week and a half, but like a week and a couple days. And the only thing that got wasted was the kale. 
um, because I never made kale chips because that takes some time to clean it and put it in the oven and it just takes a lot of time and I was way too lazy this last weekend. So <laughs> this week I spent a lot of money on meat and most of that's going to go in the freezer and I'll be able to use it for a couple of weeks so that'll last me a little bit longer. Um, and then as far as vegetables are concerned, I got enough vegetables to last me about a week, um, maybe to the end of next week is kind of what I'm hoping that they'll last that long. So grocery shopping on a budget, it's really difficult. <laughs> But as far as the meat that I got, I grew up with my parents shopping from, they called it the oops section, um, which is like the manager special section. And that's kind of like stuff that's about to expire or maybe it got marked wrong somehow, but some way the price has been lowered on the meats. And so I really only looked in that section, although I did pick up some extra pork chops, but that's just because I wanted to fill out like different kinds of meats so I got something a little bit different too um, and it wasn't that expensive so I got a lot of that stuff which will last me a while and I also learned today shopping on a Wednesday today is not a very good day to go produce shopping <laughs> the, I was not really that happy with the produce that they had and I prefer to shop for produce at Kroger because I feel like they have the best produce the produce today was not, I didn't like it at all. Um, I mean, I got what I got, and I tried to get the best stuff that I possibly could, and I feel like I did a really good job, but it was really hard picking things out, and it I, it took some time when it doesn't normally take that long. Um, things just didn't look as pretty as they normally do, and um, they didn't have, they had one avocado, and it was way overripe. Um, so that I didn't get any avocados and I love avocados so I wasn't happy with the produce but I was really excited about the meat because there were several things in there when the last time I went the produce was great but the meat was there was like nothing in the manager special section so um, I guess like to really find a good deal on meat and produce you have to go shopping on a two two different days but who has time to go shopping on two different days not me. <laughs> I barely had time to go shopping on this one day. So now that everything has been sitting out for a while, <laughs> let me sh uh, show you what I got. I got tomatoes. I got zucchini um, in two different kinds. I got, I got cucumbers and I got apples. This is where the manager special comes in handy because this is, I don't even know what it is, um, like beef be for stew and instead of 813 I paid 650 so I saved a couple dollars and then this one's a top round steak and then stay instead of paying 464 I paid 371 this I bought as is on the price which was 489 um, just to kind of fill out my variety of meat so I had some pork and I have beef um, I also got some chicken which I'll show you here in a little bit and some ham for my beans Speaking of ham, there's the ham. Um, I was also craving bacon for some reason, like while I was in the store. I haven't been wanting it at all, but just all of a sudden in the store, I was like, I want some bacon. But I got turkey bacon because it's like half the calories as regular bacon. I got cottage cheese. I have plain, um, just vanilla yogurt that I can use for smoothies or um, to just eat just like, just like it is. Although I prefer to put granola in it. And didn't get granola. I got eggs and I still have plenty of eggs in the fridge but I'm going to turn all of those into hard boiled eggs and then I'll have fresh eggs in the fridge as well. I got yogurts, um, a variety of yogurts to take with me like in the mornings um, when I'm kind of in a rush. I also got some taco seasoning because um, someone mentioned that they made um, tacos with their um, ground turkey and they have some ground turkey in the freezer so I, I plan on making tacos um, some point this week. Here's the uh, tortillas to go with the tacos. I got white bean hummus. It was a little cheaper and lower in calories so win-win on this one. I got strawberries. I can make smoothies or I can just eat them. I love strawberries. 
Um, I got some more ranch dressing. I tried, decided to try the peppercorn this time because it will have a little bit more of a kick because uh, I'm starting to run out of the regular ranch that I have. And Hidden Valley is my favorite for, um, brand. I got Red Delicious apples. I'm Actually, I prefer Golden Delicious, which I got in the other bag, but they, they were soft. They just weren't good, so I got some Red Delicious apples. I got a mango, which I plan on making into a smoothie. I got bananas. Here is the chicken that I got. It is um, lemon pepper seasoned chicken. It was only $3.46. Look at this. Like, I can't believe it. $3.46 and it's like four huge things of chicken. I could not believe it was that cheap. Am I crazy? I mean, it's like, it's thighs and it's thighs and legs. So they're not like the healthiest. But under $4 for pre-seasoned chicken? That's crazy. I feel like, I feel like there's, there was no way that it was that price, but it, yeah, it was. Green peppers, which those were very difficult to find some good green peppers. Spinach, which I plan on putting in some eggs at some point, like an omelet. Some more romaine lettuce for salads. I only got one this time because the other one lasted me like a really long time. And then with the spinach, I can fill it out and it'll be fine. And then in this last bag is all the nail stuff that I got. That's it. That's everything I got. And it was um, not including the nail stuff. It was about $70 for everything. I'm still learning on how to shop on a budget and shop healthy on a budget, but I feel like I did pretty well. Um, I'm hoping that um, at least the vegetables last me a week and then the meats will last me at least two to three weeks um, to kind of like spread out the, the budget money you know I'll spend a little less next week I don't know if it'll work out or not I'll probably always I always end up spending way more money than I need to and I did buy a lot of stuff that I did not need I did not need the tortillas um, I could have had like taco seasoning mix which is pretty cheap um, and just had like no tortilla shells with my tacos and have like a taco salad instead which would be not only cheaper but also healthier but I got them anyway I didn't need the bacon I just for some reason really wanted bacon I could have gotten fewer of meats but um you know as long as I freeze them right away they'll be fine until they're ready to use and those will last me a while I also don't think that I needed as many fruits as I got. I did get a lot of fruits. I think I was really excited about blending and the blender different smoothies. <laughs> and so I don't think I needed that many. Maybe like two or three different fruits rather than all the ones that I got. And I also didn't need two kinds of yogurt. I think I really should have just gotten the big container of yogurt and then that's it and just used that for smoothies and for eating. The logic in my head probably doesn't always fit right, but that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, well, I don't want to buy granola too because that'll be an extra expense. So let me just buy these other yogurts to use. But I also kind of... I need the convenience yogurts. You do pay a lot more and they're a dollar a piece, which to me sounds really cheap, but they're actually much more expensive. Now that I think about it, you can buy container, like small container yogurts that I can grab and go, and you can buy those for, gosh, for probably like 50 cents or less for one of them. And I'm buying one of them at a dollar a piece. So I am spending way more money than I need to on those. And I bought the container yogurt as well. It was just a lot of wasted money I'm finding. And I need to kind of work on that and try to trim some of that stuff back. When my schedule changes in a couple weeks, I'll have more time to spend on breakfast and more time to spend on lunch. I can just take the time to like make something every morning and unfortunately a lot of people don't have that opportunity to take the time to make things and um, prepare things and and all of that and it, that's that's one of the things that makes it really really difficult to not just eat healthy but also 
not spend a million dollars on healthy stuff or um, just at the grocery. It's, it's hard. It's so easy to just grab the easy, convenient stuff off the shelf and take that and use that because you know that you're going to be busy all the time, but you just kind of, that's, that's where you spend most of your money is the convenience pre-packaged stuff like the yogurt that I got. So I'm trying to like ease out of that. Although that coconut yogurt with the almonds and the chocolate is like one of the best things ever. Like I could probably eat those every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As long as I have other things to eat with it, I could probably eat them every day and never get tired of it. I love that yogurt. I gotta get this stuff in the fridge. So I will see you soon. All right, it's dinner time. I um, cooked the chicken in the broiler because that was actually the directions that it gave um, and I had to cut it open to make sure it was done. <laughs> um, some rice that I had made this morning and then zucchini that I just cooked with some salt and pepper and garlic powder and some butter and um, I will have the same thing for lunch because I still have three more of these, plenty more rice and then I split the zucchini in half. Um, and had I'm having half for dinner and half for lunch tomorrow, so I am ready to eat But before I eat I just wanted to tell you real quick. I didn't do any exercise um, I might get on the elliptical, but probably not because it's actually getting pretty late. I'm eating very late once again um, so uh, I figured that it's okay if I don't get exercise in today because I did get a good run slash walk in yesterday and so I'm kind of today's okay to take it easy maybe get on the elliptical for 10 minutes I don't know we'll see um so for right now I'm gonna eat and watch cheers all right here's how the evening went down <laughs> um I went to the store and came home talked to you forever <laughs> put the groceries away did my nails and then made dinner really late and then I've eaten and now I feel like I'm about to fall asleep on the couch. It is about 10, 15 right now and I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. So I'm turning everything off, cleaning everything up, turning everything off and I'm going to bed. Um, I don't have time to, um, edit anything tonight so I'm actually posting a throwback video um, it's from a while ago and I still have tons of videos to post that um, I still need to edit but this one's already done and I didn't have to worry about it I'm so tired today's just a lazy day and I didn't get any exercise done um, I'm just, oh, two more days until the weekend, and it's a long weekend, because it's a holiday weekend. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm going to bed. I'm really tired, and I will see you tomorrow. Although you'll see me in a few days, because I'm getting behind on posting videos. So, this weekend will be hopefully a good time for me to catch up on uh, videos, and which means I'll post a couple a day, um, but... We'll get there. <laughs> I'm just so tired. <laughs> I just want to fall asleep right now. <sighs> Have a good night.